Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn about Tkinter GUI design. I am going to talk about how can you align the elements perfectly, how can you set the app dimensions perfectly in this video. So the agenda for this video will be setting up geometry and dimensions of the app, aligning the different elements that you have within the app and then padding the elements. So what are all this? Let's see in this video. Alright, let's see what we have learned in the previous video. In the previous video, we were able to design this app. The moment I launch, this is how it is opening if you see. Now I need to expand this to see it better. Now the question comes to our mind, is it possible for me to open this in a specific dimension? Let's say this is what I want, right? This kind of a dimension I want. So how can I do that? That is the first point. Now for this, it's quite simple where you have defined your route, right? There I need to write certain things so that it opens in a specific dimension. So I'm going to write a root dot. There is something called geometry. So this is a function using which I can set up the initial dimension as to how the app has to open. So here I am going to simply mention the dimension. For example, I want in 300 and use the X symbol and 400. Okay, this is how I want. Now if I write this specific line into the previously created app, if I run this, what is going to happen? You can see now the app is opening in a perfect way. The moment I do not write this, you saw it. The moment I do not write this, then what is happening? You can see how it is launching. The app look itself is very clumsy and one has to manually expand it. So this specific one is very important where you are setting the length and height and width of the app. So if you see how it is opening. Okay. So the 400 becomes the height 300 becomes the width of the app so by default this is how it is opening this looks good but the user would still have an option to expand it if he needs now the question is if you see all these things are coming at the center i want to align it to the left side getting it i want to align it to the left side in a proper way so how do i go about doing it so to do that for all this uh labels and the text boxes that you have created all over the app all you have to do here when you are packing it right so pack is nothing but it is it sets up the geometry of the app right so here we have to provide certain parameters which is going to help you to align for example the parameter that i'll be using is something called anchor parameter name is anchor okay anchor equals to then i am going to use the tkinter dot w now what is the meaning of w w means west if i write e e means uh, it will become east if i am writing so what is the meaning of e why why am i writing e uh, w and all that so what is the meaning of uh, w w means west so first let me show you here i have applied this to the label simply have written anchor equals to take inter library dot w means west so what is the meaning of w if you see enter name what happened it was here right on the top now it has moved to the extreme left w means west towards the left if i write e what happens let's see instead of w i'm going to write capital e so what is the meaning of capital e it is going to take it to the extreme right for example if you see it has gone to the right getting it similar way we have north and south north means on the top south means at the bottom so here my goal is to keep it to the left side for left i'll be using w this is this much is understood okay same thing we will do it for the text box okay there's a label and text box involved right so here i'm doing it for the text box i'm saying anchor equals to and i'm going to write tkinter tkinter is your library and then i'm going to say w so what would happen just by writing the first label and the first text box is going to move to the left extreme left do you see if you see it has moved to the extreme left only these two things has moved now the same thing we need to apply to all over this before we apply to the other boxes 
if you look at the enter name has gone to the extreme left there is no space it doesn't look good right it went to extreme left so how do i give some space so giving the space is known as padding so around surrounding this element i want to give some space called this is called padding so how do i set a padding it is quite simple for that i'll put a comma and i'm going to say pad x is the parameter so anchor is one parameter you understood to move it to the extreme left if i write dot w and padding means giving some space around the element so i'm simply say pad x okay equals to i'll give some value let's say i want to give some 10 if i give the value look at it what's going to happen let me also do it for this text box where i will say pad x equals to 10 just by doing that if i'm going to run it you will see it went to the extreme left last time now you can see this bit of space got created getting it you got a bit of space so it looks quite good right now let's apply this for all of this uh, elements quickly if you see wherever the pack was written there have put exact the same thing copied into all of it now let's run it and see how the new look would appear you can see it is appearing much better and it has a better look now the next question that comes to our mind rakesh is there a way for me to change the background color can i make it to some other color this is green color right what if i want to put some other color is it possible yes that is possible all you have to do is simply write root dot configure what is it root dot configure then background bg is the parameter equals to and set some value so how do i set some value simply open your browser now let's say i would like to keep some light blue right uh, as the background so simply type light blue hash code and you will get some hash code so i'm going to copy this hash code go to my code and in the bg you need to just put it within the double code done now look at it how the look and feel of the app is going to change immediately let me run it and you can see how the app color has been changed this doesn't look really good but again you have options to look for a proper color that you would like to apply uh, to the app so this is what the code you are going to write to change the background color of your window so these are the couple of important learnings for in this video so thank you guys for watching do not forget to subscribe to the channel and please do give it a like to this video we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye Thank you.